Hello, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to learn how to do a simple but an elegant beaded slippers. The items you are going to use, I'm using pearls, whites and gold. I have my slippers which has been cut and wrapped already. If you are new to the channel, there is a link in the description as to how to achieve this T shape handles. The fishing line, I have size 0.5 for the weaving and size 0.35 for the sewing. I have my satin wrapper. That's what I use in wrapping the handles of the slippers. I have my rhinestone fabric. Then my glue gun with glue stick. And my needle. Then my scissors. You can buy all the materials in this video from the link below at a discount price. Let's get started. If you are new to the channel, you are welcome. And I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. I pick my be the pearls. I'm using the white first. So I picked four white pearls. Fix all on the fishing line. Then I use the last one to do my simple cross threading. I pick another three. One on my left, one on my right. Then I use the third one for the cross threading. After picking three, after making three steps, one, two, three, I introduced the yellow bead. I'll be introducing it on my left. So I'll pick two of the yellow beads, one of the gold, uh, sorry, one of the white beads. So the yellow goes on my right, my left, sorry, then the white on my left. Then I use the last yellow to do the cross threading so i'll achieve something like this then i'll pick two yellow one white the white goes on my left the yellow on my right then i use the Last one to do the cross trading is what I have achieved so far. Then I'll pick one yellow, two whites. The yellow goes on the left because I'm building upon the yellow. Then the white goes on my right. Then I use the last white for the cross trading. So you achieve something like this. I'll pick one white, sorry, um, three whites. So this is what I have. Then I'll pick one yellow. Two white. The yellow goes on my left, then the white on my right. Then I use the last one to do my cross trade. I 
I picked three whites. As I always say, if you get the bases right now, the big itself will give you the direction. If you are new to the channel, you are welcome. And please and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I haven't posted here in a while because I was putting things together for one-on-one -on -one classes as requested by some of you. My fans especially have been asking me if I have one-on-one -on -one classes online and asking for in-depth tutorials on beading. Now my classes are ready. You can join my online classes from the link in the description below where I teach in-depth classes on bead making. I am giving one month free subscription for the first 50 people. Just click on the first link in the description. Sign up for free and enjoy all my classes and more for free. When you sign up for the class, I teach into details everything you need to start your bead making journey. Unlike YouTube where some details are not covered because of the length of video, my classes cover everything from the basis to the advanced and there are project works at the end of every class. All the tricks and secrets are there. Join me there and kickstart your beading career or broaden your knowledge on beading. So when you are turning, you turn to the direction where we have the um, the yellow forming a V. I'll go ahead, pick my three beads. Just after you turn, you pick three beads. Pick so on the outer thread, which is the left thread. Then you use the inner thread to do your cross threading. So after the three beads, you go ahead and pick your two beads. All goes on the outer thread. Then you use the last one for your cross threading. So just after the two white beads, you pick one white bead one yellow bead the white one goes on to it first followed by the yellow bead so you see that you have one two three four so at this point we are coming to ten so you'd pick one yellow bead, one white bead. The, the yellow one goes on to reach first. Then you use the white bead to do your cross threading. Then you'd pick two white beads. So you said the whites will be four in the center of the yellow bead. So just after you've made that four white beads in the center, you go ahead and pick two yellow beads. I don't know, but hope the explanation comes out clear. As you are weaving, don't forget to be stretching out your fishing line.
when you sign up for the class i teach into details everything you need to start your bead making journey unlike youtube where some details are not covered because of the length of video my classes cover everything from the basis to the advanced and there are project works at the end of every class all the tricks and secrets are there join me there and kickstart your beading career or broaden your knowledge on beading You can use any bead of your choice, any color of your choice, but I prefer using my white and yellow pearls. You can join my online classes from the link in the description below where I teach in-depth classes on bead making. I am giving one month free subscription for the first 50 people. Just click on the first link in the description. Sign up for free and enjoy all my classes and more for free. We are ending with this section. I will then do away with my SS fishing line. So this is what we have. Let's do the counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So the whole thing is 21. We want this one to be in the middle, so I'll pick from this white bead. So you see, it's one, two, three. So we are going to work with these three beads. So I just fix my fishing line on this white bead. I'll pick three of the five beads. It goes on the left thread. From where I am sitting, this is my left hand, so it goes on the left thread. So depending on where you are sitting, it can be your right. Then I move onto the white. I pick my two white bead after the three white bead. So we are ending on this last bead. This is the third bead. One, two, three. So this time around, I'll work with the right hand thread. All the twos go on three. Then I use the third one for, sorry, the second one for my cross threading. Then I turn. After turning, I pick two white beads, one yellow bead. The white goes on to red first, all the two. Then I use the yellow one for my cross threading. Then I'll pick another white bead and a yellow bead. The white first, and I use the yellow for my cross threading.
we are turning so i take my two beads i work with my right stretch all the two goes on to the right thread then i use the last one for the cross threading to change the direction of the fishing line then i pick two three white beads After the second turn, after the three beads, I pick one white bead, one gold bead. The gold one goes on to rest, but then I use the white one for my cross threading. So you see that it sits in the center of the bead. Then I'll pick three, sorry, two white beads. We are turning. Then you pick one white bead two yellow beads the white one goes on to it first then you use the two the two will follow then you use the last yellow to do your cross threading And you would pick two white beads. This place is a little confusing, so you have to pay attention to get the details well. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video, share the link. Keep the comments coming don't forget to like the videos we have a whatsapp group that we do have interesting conversations that you can join and please join only when you are a subscriber two yellow one white the yellow goes on to red first use the white for your cross thread then you would pick your two white Then you pick your two yellow. Then you will pick your two yellow. Sorry, two white, one yellow. The white goes on to red first. Then you use the yellow for your cross thread. Then you take your two yellow.
take your two whites now I just bead in with white beads So we just want to make the tip like a V. So instead of starting on this bead, we are not starting on, we will skip and start on this bead. So we just have to go all around this bead. When you sign up for the class, I teach into details everything you need to start your bead making journey. Unlike YouTube where some details are not covered because of the length of video, my classes cover everything from the basis to the advanced and there are project works at the end of every class. All the tricks and secrets are there. Join me there and kickstart your beading career or broaden your knowledge on beading. We are just trying to do away with the excess fashion line. This are beaded. And then we are going to weave two of this. So these are already wrapped slippers. As I said earlier on the link to how to weave it is in the description and click on it and follow suit. We are using the size 0 0.3 for the sewing. Attach the tip. We first of all seal this part. So this uh we seal we secure our thread in the ribbon.
So we, we done sewing the nose. We are now coming to seal this angle. I'm just sewing it. I sew this as it. I see from this point. I put this bead. See with pass it through. Then I sew this. That's. With the seam, you can use your own method as to how to make it fair. We are almost done sewing, so This is the after the sewing. This is how it looks like. It's very firm. Very firm. And I'm coming to the crazy bodice of the slipper. So, that's my rhinestone fabric. So, you see, it's in dots. So, I'll pick one, two, three, then. I'll start from this point. I'll pick my glue gun. It's already heated. You can join my online classes from the link in the description below where I teach in-depth classes on bead making. I am giving one month free subscription for the first 50 people. Just click on the first link in the description. Sign up for free and enjoy all my classes and more for free.
I'm doing the same for the other one. So, this is the end of our tutorial. So, this is our final work. As I said, it's a simple but an elegant slippers. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you find this video to be very useful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, and keep the comments coming. Bye-bye till we meet in our next video.